On 12 News this morning, we had part one of Patrick Little's story on A.J. Quetta. A.J. suffered a spinal cord injury in a high school hockey game seven months ago. The North Providence native and Bishop Fian grad is determined to walk again, and he has the support of a worldwide army on the road to achieve that goal. Here's more of Patrick's conversation with A.J. and his dad. When this happened, did you know something was seriously wrong? Yeah, I knew. Yeah, I knew the second it happened. I knew. How? When I thought my arm was above my head, it was by my side. That's what I knew. When he got hurt, I wasn't even at the game. It was a far game. It was in Springfield, Mass. And it was in the middle of the week, and it was actually snowing a little bit, and I couldn't get out there. Um, that's one of the things I, I do regret, not being there for, that, for him on the ice. AJ's father may not have been there the night his son was injured, but his son was never alone and never will be. A worldwide movement known as AJ's Army was formed, and it continues to grow. Well, some days through the course of the season might be challenging, but nothing like what this AJ kid's going through. So, game puck's going to AJ. So tell me about AJ's Army. How much do, do you feel that energy from that group of people that so many people are a part of? Yeah, absolutely. It, it definitely lifts my spirits seeing how many people people care about me. Um, def, definitely, obviously, wish I never had it. And um, at the same time, I'm so glad I do, though. What has it been like to have so many people that you don't even know yeah. Pouring everything out, whether it be financially, emotionally, their time to help. Yeah, it's 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 unreal. It's not easy, by the way. It's not easy to be always on the take. Never been that way with me. I've never I've never been a guy that that had my hand out. To see all the support and the financial support, the emotional support, all of that stuff. We have a huge amount of thanks to give to so many people. There's somebody in London had a AJ's Army shirt on, like in London, like it's crazy. <laughs> AJ also has an army of professionals by his side three hours a day at Journey Forward in Canton, Massachusetts, a nonprofit organization dedicated to bettering the lives of those with spinal cord injuries. The wicked top of my bicep, it tingles. That's awesome, buddy. What kind of message would you have for uh, just someone that doesn't know you, your supporters, the army? What kind of message would you have for them? As much as you're here for me, I'm there for you. And as long as you guys keep supporting me, I'm going to have that drive and motivation to, to work. And, and eventually, you guys are going are to see how much you really helped me. I know that he's going to get out of the chair. I just do. Um, because Just because of his attitude and you know the times that we live in with, with the technology. And the, and, the, and the care, so this is the hard part, and we're getting through it now, so it's all, we're at the bottom, so there's only one way to go. What's up? In North Providence, I'm Patrick Little, 12 News. It's also inspiring so many people along the way, too. It's incredible. Yeah. We are all rooting for you, AJ, and if you want to help AJ and his family, you can head to ajsarmy.com. We've also posted a link on our website, wpri.com. That's where you can also see both parts of Patrick's emotional interview.